Hello, my name is Ray Zuwing from the Silver Tower project. Today I'm going to show you how to create simple collision in 3D Studio Max. The simplest form of collision is called box collision. And the cases of where you want to use box collision is, for instance, if you're going to make a plank. It has a lot of other uses too. But let's go with plank because it's a very good uh, example of a simple box collision. So let's draw out a box in the scene. It doesn't matter where you put it or which dimensions it gets because we'll fix that manually. We give it a length of 16, width 128, height 4. Now let's center it at 0, 0, 0 because that make it, makes it easy to keep track of. Material editor and drag drop the material and our tutorial model is finished. Now we're going to create the collision for it. And we want to use a simple box collision because the shape is a box. So let's go to create box and draw out a new box. Give it the same numbers. And move it into the correct place. Now we're going to add a BH key rigid body modifier to it. And we set the material to wood, the bounding volume to axis aligned box, and we don't have to worry about optimize. If you're going to make a convex shape, then optimize is a really good idea. And now we're going to create a BH key rigid body helper. Go to the helper panel. Stand up, uh, scroll down to NIF tools, click the BH key rigid body button, set the material to wood in this case, and just click anywhere in the scene. Now the thing, now we're gonna add, uh, now we're gonna add the box we created to the helper. The thing about doing that is, you don't want to select the wrong model. If you were to select the real model, for instance, uh, you'd screw up the helper. And then you have to, all you have to do if you do that is delete the helper and start over. So to prevent that from happening, just make it convenient, we unhide the real model and any other model. If we had several boxes, for instance, we'd hide, unhide them too. Because you don't want to select the box twice by accident, if you have 20 boxes, for instance. So let's just click the Add button and add it. And move the helper to the center of the C. Select those. I click uh, Control A to do that. Unhide all, hide selection, and we'll see the real model. Save and export. I'm going to just export it to desktop. This is all, these are the settings I like to use when I export. Generate strips, vertex colors, update tangent space. That's the most important ones in my opinion. So export. That was for another tutorial. Here's the model we created, and you'll see it has box collision. Perfect. And that's the way it looks. One thing you always want to do in uh, NIFScope is go to Spells, Batch, Update All Tangent Spaces. You can do it from 3D Studio Max as I showed on the export panel, but uh, NIFScope has a slightly better, slightly better algorithm for it. Uh, to put it simple, updating tangent spaces make your model look better and uh, solves the black screen bug. And that's all I have to show today. I hope you had. A, I hope my video was of some use if you haven't done this. Before. Check out our website at www.silgrad.com if you have the time. Goodbye.